So secondary characters. But my first question is, what is the purpose or role of a secondary character? I think that secondary characters play a multitude of roles and it depends on what you're writing and how you use them. I mean, I personally tend to use secondary characters to enhance or reveal the primary character's emotional state. I think that the conversations that your main character has with other characters are incredibly revealing. It helps you um, avoid info dumps in narrative instead of putting all of the feelings of the main character in narrative, which mm -hmm. I, I do, and sometimes it works, but it's also much easier to reveal how they're feeling in a conversation with someone else. Um, I both agree and disagree about the quantity of secondary characters. I think that too many characters distract from the main thread. They tend to dilute the characterization of the main character. I think too many points of view can be really confusing. And again, it tends to minimize the depth of characterization you have with your primary character. I think it's fine to have important characters who revolve around your main character, but most of them don't need to have a point of view. If they're not substantial secondary characters in a subplot, they probably do not need to have a point of view. Um, and I think that's something that I learned over time. And, you know, I mean, I've written some some of my early books where, you know, the bartender had a point of view and didn't need to have one. <laughs> so I think that it's a balance. Um, but, you know, I agree. I think they need to be there. They create real worlds and they help to create authentic characters. And they help out the story depending on how you're going to use them. I mean, they drive the story forward by inserting them at, you know, the appropriate places along the journey when you need a new character to come in and change direction, as Fiona was saying, for the main character. Right. Now, I know, especially you and Fiona that are on this panel, um, you do a lot of series work. So some of those secondary characters, then in the next book, they're not, you know, they move up a slot into more main characters. So when you're writing a series work, do you do, you do that with, do you have that in mind when you write it? Well, I'll, I'll take it first. It depends on how smart you are when you start writing the series, because when I started, I wasn't very smart and I didn't know I was writing a series. So I didn't lay the groundwork very well for my, you know, characters who later appeared. And a lot of them, you know, I had to deal with an awful lot of Kate's in my early writing because a lot of people were named Kate. Um, but in, in um, the two I was going to hold up, these two, Passionate Rivals and Unrivaled, I'm presently writing Perfect Rivalry, which is number three. That was completely planned from the beginning. And I put all the characters in at the beginning that I wanted to use. So I'm, I'm betting that Fiona does the same thing. And you can begin to develop the characters subtly in the background in those earlier books, but I don't develop them a whole lot. I tend to really focus on the central characters, even if I'm writing the beginning of a series. Okay, what adds depth to make a better secondary character? So um, I wrote down two, two main things um, when you first ask the question, and a lot of it's already been covered, but the first thing I wrote down was specific and unique attributes. I mean, your secondary characters can't be walk-ons. They have to be fully developed characters, even if they're not going to have major roles in the book. Um, and they have to be distinct. And how do we make characters distinct? I mean, sometimes it's the way they dress. Sometimes it's the way they talk, as Amanda said, you know, specific dialogue or words that they use. Attitudes, I think, are huge. I think one of the ways to develop a secondary character is to give them a very unique attitude towards life or perhaps attitude toward the main character. Um, so that the second thing is the interaction with the main character. I think that's what creates really focal secondary characters is the role, as Fiona mentioned, that they play relative to the main character in the story. Are they the best friend? Are they the teacher? Are they the antagonist, the villain, the competitor? They have a dynamic interaction that's unique to them 
in that story. And that's the role that they play above and beyond, you know, all of the technical things that we're doing with that character, revealing the way the main character looks, mm-hmm. um, revealing through their dialogue what the main character thinks. They're also a focal um, piece of the work in terms of the part that they play in moving the, the entire story forward. So I, I basically agree with everything that everyone has just said. <laughs> Do they need a like a like a full background as far like a backstory? And do you do that just for your own, um, I guess, knowledge as you write the book, so that you know the character well? Or does that make it into the book and then your editor says no and cuts it out? <laughs> It's usually when it happens to me. So I would say no to all no. I would really? say no. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. I mean, again, whose book are you writing? Whose story are you telling? It's the main character's story. Yes, you have to know enough about the secondary characters and their motivation. Again, if it's the villain, that's practically a main character. So you're going to have to know a lot about a villain's um, motivations, and you're going to have to reveal that. But if your secondary character is your best friend or your sidekick, I don't think you have to reveal to the reader everything about their background because what's critical is their present relationship to the main character. So I think it's what role that secondary character is playing as to how much of their backstory and their personal story you have to put on the page because the readers are reading that story because they want to find out about the main character. And particularly if you're writing a romance, obviously, as they're all the romance readers, writers know, it's the critical relationship between the two main characters that they want to see. And I think you can get lost in the weeds with your secondary characters if you give them too much page time. Okay.